if you don't know what you want at the meeting, if you don't have a game plan. He may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Yeah, we talked we talked about we talked about at the conference overall. We talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the uh, excuse me, third world, the uh, the the, uh, the southern hemisphere had access. You can't thank, thank you, everybody. This ends thank, the count press thank, conference. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot excuse me, in the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. <laughs> you know, and I'll never stop fighting for you, I promise you. Because fighting for you, by the way, I love when people say, well, why do we spend so much? You realize that 26 out of every 100 students in grade, grades uh, kindergarten through 12 speak Spanish? No, think about it. What in the hell heck are we talking about here? I'm going to say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. President, you said at the beginning that the debt ceiling was not negotiable. Isn't that what you've just done here? Isn't that what you guys, look, we're not negotiating the debt ceiling. Here's the deal. They passed, they said they're going to, they passed the debt ceiling, and they said they'd only do it on condition that it have all these cuts in it. I said, I'm not going to do that. You pass the debt ceiling, period. I'll negotiate with you on the cuts, what you say, what's going to happen, what, what, what the budget's going to look like. That's what we are negotiating in order to get to them deciding that they're going to go along with a new debt ceiling, meaning that it's not attached. It's something totally different attached than was attached before. So if you want to try to make it look like I made some compromise in the debt ceiling, I didn't. I made a compromise on the budget. That's what they wanted, is you make a compromise on the budget, and that's what you've done, even though you haven't gone as far as they wanted. Isn't that right? Sure, yeah. Well... <laughs> Can you think of an alternative?